All right, so today we're going to make a green fishing light that you can submerge and use from the dock. I got this piece of two inch PVC. We're going to put these green lights Just little LED strip lights. I'm gonna wrap those around it. Turn it into a light that you can submerge in the dark. And I got this cigarette lighter cable that I can plug into my battery box that I use to power up my fish finder on my kayak. I'll end up cutting this piece off, direct wiring it into here to power up the lights. And then I can use this to plug into my battery box. So first off, what I'm gonna do is figure out how deep this is gonna go on. And then we'll make a mark with a Sharpie. So we made this mark here with the Sharpie so that we know our lights need to go below this and then come inside from in here. We're gonna drill a hole in here to run our lights inside. And then we're going to drill a hole in the center of the cap to run this wire in there and we'll silicone that up and we'll silicone the hole up on here. First, I need to know how much space on this pipe is going to be taken up by the strips. So I'm going to pre-wrap that. Let me get some tape just to hold that down. Okay, just got some masking tape here. This stuff has a sticky back on the back of it. We'll peel that off and later as we, when we're gonna actually stick it on there. Like I say, right now I'm just trying to figure out how much of this pipe I'm gonna need because I don't believe I'm gonna need the whole thing. <laughs> Just kind of eyeball this. Give it a little bit of extra room. Cut it about right in there. That should give us about that much extra space. Just in case. And then what I'm also gonna do before I go putting the lights on, I'm going to rough up the PVC with some sandpaper to help make it stick. Okay, let's see. I need to make a hole in the PVC. Somewhere around right in here. Put these wires in. So I know that that will work. I'll need to do some silicone on here. I'm gonna silicone on the inside and the outside. Let 
and get some sandpaper and we'll rough up this outside. All right. So I've also got some, uh, I've also got some super glue with some fast acting adhesive. Basically it's just like super glue on steroids and make it dry even faster than what super glue really does. But we're gonna use that to also help these lights stick. So we'll get the back started off, started peeled off. Put a little bit there. We'll start spraying that. Get that going. I think maybe I need to use that accelerator. from the very end piece. I'm gonna need just a little bit more in there. Just really secure that end piece down. All right, that's that. Sit in there like that so that we can make our connections. Okay, so I stripped these wires back. I cut that plug off and stripped these wires back. Now what we need to do is drill a hole that's big enough for the wires to get through in the cap. So I'm going to pull enough through and I'm going to tie a knot in there, keep it from pulling back. I need to make sure I've got enough that I can have these together. I'm going to 
I get a little bit further up. Just work the knot up. There we go. See, that'll keep this from pulling out. And I've got plenty of room to be able to make my connections. So now we need the silicone. I'm gonna silicone the inside, pull it out, silicone the outside. We'll silicone this hole on the outside and we'll silicone it on the inside. Okay, and we'll let that dry and then we'll complete the assembly. Now that everything, all of our silicone has dried, now we're gonna make the connection. Go ahead and put our butt splices on this side and crimp them. That's crimped good. Now we're gonna crimp these. And that's good. All right, now it's time for the primer. I'm gonna prime the inside of the cap. We'll glue the inside of the cap. Stuff our wires inside. Stuff the cap on. Okay, next thing you're gonna need is some weight to put inside. I just have some pieces of steel bar, almost like rebar, not quite rebar, but just kind of welded them together. And then I had to kind of grind them down so that they'd fit up inside like that. So let's see, it's going to be kind of floppy in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to stuff that rag inside because I don't want this to flopping around inside there and damage my wires. Say so like that one rag. Okay, now we've got that. It's time to put the bottom cap on. There we go. And you have a weighted submergible light. When it gets dark, I'll throw it out in my pool and show you. And here we are. So I'm going to plug the uh, cigarette lighter plug into the battery box that I made. If you have not already, you can check out the video linked right here so that you can see how I made that battery box. Now we're going to lower the light down into the water and see that it is still working and illuminating the pool. Drop it into the water. Can't light the pool though. Don't forget to check out the video on how I made the, the battery box for the fish finder on my kayak.